In terms it's closed of like wires. The, you think it's it closed, has? which is exactly what it was designed to do. Uh, the Mr. Obama could not have become president without the white supremacists making that as a part of their plan, because it's a world long range plan, and the whole idea is to have him do what he will go down in history as being what a black president, the first black president, who was an assassin in chief. Yep. Yes. In other words, he's real good at putting hits on people and bragging about it which is what they taught him to do. We're, we're going to allow you. you. you got a lot of plans. You're a nice fellow and all like that. But the only thing we're going to allow you to do is kill people. Kill people. Put hits on people. That's what you're going to be known for. You're not going to be known for anything else because we are not going to allow you to do anything else. Everything else that you come up with, we're going to veto it. And this is how it's going down. And, and, and even though, and I'm going to say this outright, why do I vote for him? Because I just want young black people to get accustomed, because they're not accustomed to this, to seeing a black person at least hold a title. Wow. Mm-hmm. And also, over a period of time, they will realize that holding titles is not the key mm-hmm. to getting things done. I think they'll really realize that. that. But see, they never would have realized that until, um, until they actually have seen it. Wow. So we'll let that transpire. It's just a learning process. But as far as getting any benefits from President Obama or getting any benefits from President Romney, if he becomes under that title, Governor Romney, if he becomes president, you're not going to get any benefits e- either way. Because the white supremacists have already made their decisions years ago about who's going to get what. And they have decided that black people are just going to be under the refined system of white supremacy. And they are going to be confused and going at each other like the young black people out here. Their only ambition is to kill each other or to look at each other with disdain. We don't have any other plan. Just look at the young black people who are out here now. They don't have any other plan other than that. And that's a plan that's been handed down through the ages. Black people really look forward to looking each other up. That's all we do when we, we allow it to get off from work and have a little space. We go doing what? Looking for other black people. And then when we find other black people, we trade a few pleasantries to start off with, high fives and handshakes, and then we start getting in arguments about petty things, and then we wind up going at each other. That's our tradition. That's our entire culture. That's the way the white supremacists want it.